Alex Salmon is to bring down Nicola Sturgeon on live TV, and the SNP waste thousands of taxpayers' money on their cover-up. Hello everyone and welcome to today's uh, program. Uh, today we're going to talk about the SNP and their cover-up. Things are getting quite out of control now with the the Nicola Sturgeon and Alex Salmon inquiry. Before we start, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who joined our live stream on Saturday night and a special shout out to everyone who donated to the channel via Super Chat, but also PayPal. So thanks again for everyone uh, to everyone because it's all because of you that we can continue our work. Uh, just one quick thing. Um, as you know, the live stream actually gets um, afterwards. is posted as a recorded video. Uh, and some people watched it afterwards and were confused that they, they thought the comments were deleted. The live chat disappears, unfortunately, after the live stream. Uh, so that's why it's not seen in the comment section. So if you want to uh, make sure you don't miss out, Saturdays, 8 p.m., live stream happens. Now, let's start talking about these two, Alex Salmon and Nicola Sturgeon, the former First Minister of Scotland and the current First Minister, who used to be besties at the time. Now they're no longer friends because the Alex Salmon inquiry um, into his harassment situation is escalating it's still going on and Nicola Sturgeon apparently knew more than she uh, says that she knew and uh, uh, she apparently according to Alex Salmon she's lied to the Scottish Parliament and uh, tomorrow Alex Salmon was supposed to be going to the inquiry to uh, do his testimony against her to bring her down now he's actually prepared according to the times uh, he's prepared to go on live tv do a press conference with evidence uh, to actually expose Nicola Sturgeon and her lies. She, he, he has said that he's still willing to uh, go to the committee, to the inquiry, if the members of the Scottish Parliament are willing to publish the evidence that they have against Nicola Sturgeon. This is actually really, really um, risky for uh, the pro-SMP um, well, politicians and members, because uh, if they do that, they'll bring down their own first minister, uh, considering we're also going to talk about in this video how uh, the Scottish government have been using taxpayers' money uh, to uh, do a bit of a cover-up. This came out a while ago, but it's actually kind of escalating at this point. So Alex Salmon has said that he's prepared to attack Nicola Sturgeon in a televised press conference if the members of the Scottish Parliament refuse to publish the evidence that they have against her. Now, uh, the former First Minister's lawyers are understood to have told the MSPs that he's going to be, um, he's willing to do the test, uh, testimony uh, on Tuesday next week, but he's now going to be uh, coming up. And uh, But he has said that they have to uh, publish uh, the evidence. Now, this uh, investigation is still going on. And uh, the problem that he's now facing is that the whole of the SNP establishment are now against uh, uh, Alex Salmon. The problem is the guy seems to be guilty. This is, you know, again, allegedly is still going on, but he's going down. He wants to make sure if he's going down, he's going to take everyone else down with him, including Nicola Sturgeon. So in this story, there's no good side. Both sides seem to be bad. And uh, that's why the Scottish uh, papers are reporting that the pressure grows on Nicola Sturgeon over the meetings that she's had. Uh, apparently she had, uh, Alex Salmon even went to her house in 2018. And then a number of other meetings and phone calls uh, that she's, you know, denied or... Mis, you know, just misrepresented what they were about. Uh, so this is why he wants to make sure that truth comes out from his perspective. The issue is that Daily Record uh, reports that the Scottish government paid thousands of uh, taxpayers' money to top lawyers uh, to try to block the members of the Scottish Parliament from questioning the senior figures of the Scottish government on this case. So they used taxpayers' money. They decided to get all these lawyers, well, apparently very good, uh, to try and find ways to intimidate uh, and to make sure that they don't ask the right questions uh, from the senior figures of the Scottish uh, the SNP government. Uh, this is absolutely scandalous, and I don't understand why the BBC and Sky News are not completely on it. They should be absolutely all over this case, but they're really not. Um, the Scottish papers are reporting on it on a daily basis now, but not really uh, the mainstream media in, in, the, in the UK. Now, um, as we said, you know they, they've been using taxpayers' money. The Sunday Mail in Scotland has obtained documents showing a film hired using public cash that demanded uh, that investigating uh, the committee members uh, give written guarantees that they wouldn't ask a senior figure crucial questions. 
this is astonishing. And so th what happened was eventually at the end, they, they just w weren't willing to do that. So the senior figure decided not to actually uh, refuse uh, to give evidence at all. Now, the leaked email demanded members need to email me to confirm that they are content to abide by the written agreement below before the evidence session can proceed. I would be grateful if members could respond confirming that they agree to these terms as soon as they can. Can you believe this? This is actually a situation with the Scottish government. And uh, there is a legal problem here. If this is proven to be right, which I, at this point I think it will be, uh, because the evidence is there in, in writing. And uh, Nick, uh, Alex Salmon has said that he has enough evidence against Nicola Sturgeon. So the problem is that uh, the May elections are coming up. Apparently, they are going to go ahead, uh, despite the rumors that uh, because of the lockdown, they might be delayed. Uh, the SNP are still technically leading in the polls. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon's credibility during the, the lockdown period has gone down a bit because she's uh, completely messed up the situation with the vaccines. Uh, she has uh, introduced certain restrictions that have been questionable, including um, basically banning students from living their own lives and uh, threatening to build a wall between Scotland and England. Uh, and this could be the last point of her government and her leadership. Now, uh, Daily Record again continues by saying that uh, this um, evidence that was uh, found by the Sunday Mail uh, shows that uh, the government would likely to be losing to Alex Salmon. Uh, and there's also, they were they told the legal counsel, they told Nicola Sturgeon that you're going to lose this case. But she still went ahead uh, by uh, spending £692,000 to fight this. So they told her, you're going to lose this anyway. And uh, But she still did it. Uh, and uh, this is going to continue because the issue is that the, the public were forced to pick up a £512,000 bill for Alex Salmon's legal fees, along with a further £180,000 that ministers spent on their own lawyers. Wow. Um, their taxpayers are being ripped off completely. <laughs> and uh, uh, the the next step is going to be the response that the Scottish Parliament are going to be, are going to be giving to Alex Salmon to see if they're going to publish the evidence or not. And uh, now we're going to <laughs> talk about the next part of this uh, story. Uh, but before I actually do that, I was going to mention this earlier, but uh, there's a construction site next door. If there's uh, some annoying noises, I uh, apologize for that. It's not really coming from the flat. Uh, now, let's go to uh, the next point, which is um, the Express. I uh, have been reporting, this is a couple of few days ago, talking about how Nicola Sturgeon is now threatened uh, with the Scotland Fund cuts if their independence plans are not abandoned. As you know, in the last few days, she's been stepping up with her plans to uh, find a way to introduce her a second Scottish independence referendum. She already had one recently in 2014. She said it's a once in a generation uh, chance to do this. She lost and she's going to be doing it again. She said if Boris Johnson doesn't give her permission in Westminster, she's going to do it independently. Not sure how that's going to work because the Scottish courts have already rejected her proposal. Uh, but there are experts who are talking about the political editor of this uh, son also came out to say that uh, the funding uh, that Westminster give to the Scottish government uh, in 2013 discounted for 85% of the Scottish government's funding. 85% and it's been going up um, and every year anyway. Um, and this could be a new way to block her plan if Westminster and uh, Boris Johnson as Prime Minister considered uh, this idea. Uh, because it, why is it that she's been raising taxes on Scottish people on top of that, a big chunk of the rest of their budget comes from London. And so the rest of the British taxpayers are funding the SNP's incompetent government. Uh, so this will be um, updated and, uh, on a daily basis. Again, the, I think tomorrow is going to be a big day in the Scottish um, Parliament. We'll keep you guys posted as usual. Now let's go to our new segment that we are doing um, every day, News in Your World. As uh, I've mentioned before, if you haven't, uh, seen the previous video, uh, we are introducing this new segment. End of each video, uh, because of all the doom and gloom, all the negative stories that we are seeing um, it, well, since 2020 and actually even before that with Brexit, um, people need some positivity. And this channel is here to give you hope and optimism. As uh, so I asked you guys, 
uh, to use my email address in the description box to send me a happy story, a positive story in your life. It could be a personal achievement, could be a shout out, you know, a birthday, something that you've done. You know, if you finished a, you know, some sort of like a 5K run, anything positive. And I will give you, we'll go through them every day. We'll give you a shout out. We received a lot of emails and uh, I picked one for this video. And uh, we're going to go to uh, the email we got from uh, Bill who says, Hi guys, I suffered a severe stroke, bleed to the brain and also contracted the virus. But now I'm in good health and celebrating the birth of a new granddaughter and a new grandson due next month. So all good. Love your videos, Maya, and keep up the good work. A big shout out to Lacey too. Take care and stay safe, Bill. Wow, um, Bill, I'm so glad that you have uh, recovered. Um, it's, I'm guessing it's not an easy thing to go through these sort of things, especially during the, uh, these times. But uh, I, I really hope that your health is much better now. And massive, uh, massive congratulations on your new granddaughter and a new grandson. Um, not sure. I'm guessing they're not twins. I'm guessing they're separate. Otherwise, you would have said they're twins. But uh, send my best to your family, and I hope you keep up well. And everybody else, as I mentioned, if you have a happy story, it could be anything that's related to your personal life or anything that you've uh, seen in your area. It's related to what's happening. Uh, just send me an email. The email is in the description. That also reminds me. Um, I do need to ask you guys for a favor. If anyone is out there who is very good at and actually have used um, Discord and also uh, editing software, um, the Streamlabs uh, OBS. Uh, if you know it, you know it. Uh, I, I do need you to send me an email. Again, it's in the description box. Contact at myitc.co.uk. Uh, we're just about to launch our new Discord. Again, for those of you who don't know what Discord is, it's a messaging board. It's basically a discussion, it's like a chat room, old school chat room, uh, but it's more modern and we are going to be launching it. It's going to be our community. We have the comment section on the videos, but I'm going to be there. Lacey's going to be there. We can talk to each other and we're going to also make announcements there to make it easier for us to communicate with you guys. So if there's anyone who has actually used Discord and specifically if you actually have managed, uh, hopefully a Discord channel, uh, I know how it works, but also OBS, uh, then send me an email. I would uh, I could be using your help on that as well. Uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm MyTC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.